Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our first online assembly. I hope you all had a, a good day yesterday. You treated your mums well on what was a, a very different Mother's Day than the one that we'd normally expect. And here we are doing things differently again. Life is, I'm afraid, for a little while going to be very different. And so this morning, I'm going to talk to you about some of the things that we can do in order to make that difference more bearable. This must feel very strange for you. And I have to say, it feels rather strange for me too. Public speaking is something that you do in front of a live audience. You can gauge their reaction, you can look into their eye, you can tell if they're listening and finding you interesting. And yet here I am, not able to see any of you at all. So it's strange, it's different, but again, this is something that we're just gonna have to get used to for just a little while. I've been thinking about these differences over the weekend, thinking about what we're going to need to equip ourselves in order to make sure that our time at home is tolerable and as enjoyable as it can be. And the one thing that I think is really important is patience. The ability to be patient with each other, the ability to be understanding of each other is going to be all the more crucial as we go through the next few weeks. Being patient with your parents. They're likely to be working from home too. They have multiple stresses and strains and they may not be able to come to see you to help you immediately. So please be patient. Think of them. Wait your turn. When you're working online, be patient with your teachers. They have multiple things going on, different children asking questions at different times, and it might be that sometimes you've just got to wait a little while to get the answer that you want. Be patient too with the technology. We're not sure yet just how good this is going to work. So perhaps there'll be glitches, particularly today, that we need to iron out, but we will get it right. So please be patient. Be patient with each other. We all have things that we normally do that relieve our stress and our tension, be they playing sport, be they going out, be they going to clubs and activities, and all these things we're unable to do for a little while. So people are likely to feel a little bit more tense because even if we don't know it, these are the things that help us relax in life. So please be patient with each other and understanding that we might feel a little bit more tense for the next few weeks. If you feel grumpy, if you feel stressed at any time, if you feel like you're losing your patience, try to stop yourself. Try to take a step back. Try to think calm and yeah, your patience will be rewarded, I'm sure. Now this isn't a new message, it's a very old message. It's been passed down from generation to generation. The prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said patience is the key to contentment. And Mahatma Gandhi said to lose patience is to lose the battle. So please accept that it is a battle, keeping patient with each other, but it's something that we all must focus on in order to try to do. So the message at this, the first morning of our new virtual school, is to be patient with each other, to look after each other. And remember as well, the message that I gave you at the end of my last address, which is on Facebook and on Twitter, as well as our website, to remember that it's really important to keep having fun. Thank you, enjoy your first day in school, and I'll look forward to my next assembly next week.